Hello, this is uh, Bill Reeves and I just wanted to share a little tip about whenever your assistant goes to take a temporary crown off and brings it back to you and says, Hey Doc, the buildup came out in the crown. And I just wanted to share with you a way that you can put the buildup back in the tooth and cement and deliver the final prosthesis without ruining your patient's day or placing another buildup, re-prepping, re-impressing, sending it back to the lab, all of that kind of headache. So I hope that you all find this helpful. I'm going to share with you a way that you can use the final prosthesis as a template for placing a buildup back in a crown where the buildup in the crown, possibly the post has all come off at the same time and I know it's happened to all of us at one time or another and I hope that uh, it really helps people practicing uh, general dentistry and doing crown and bridge that uh, this helps y'all out and helps save a, a patient experience and putting the patient out and bringing them back and getting them upset. Anyway, let me show you what your assistant comes back to you and says, Hey doc, I was taking the temporary crown off and the buildup came off inside the crown. So I am going to show you how to save your appointment whenever that happens. I think this is a pretty good case because it's a number 10 and in looking it looks like when we hand articulate things that we have pretty minimal clearance although in the patient's mouth I, you know we did make sure there was a lot of clearance in between there especially with these and having a good little feral type shoulder so that the force when they're chewing is transferred to that shoulder and not breaking off the center part of the two but uh, let's just uh, try to duplicate a broken buildup so usually what happens is the assistant whoa let me go see if I can find that one So, anyway, I'm not going to go looking for that any longer. So, anyway, what happens is like we have a broken buildup. And what happens is the assistant is taking off the temporary crown. And they tend to wiggle this thing quite a bit. And, and then, pow, it breaks off. And then it's inside the crown and then the assistant comes to you and goes the buildup came out inside the crown and then you have this buildup in there so the first step is to clean out the buildup and make that all pretty inside the crown so clean out any of the the broken buildup material in here <clears throat> and go back to the tooth and see what's left. If you actually have a post that came out, you can take a new post and re-cement that or rebond it into the canal. And then with that new post sticking out, you can try on the permanent crown. And when it seats, you know, it'll be a little bit high at first and take your handpiece and grind off that post. 
you know, and keep trial fitting this on there until it finally seats all the way. Then you have your post and then you can prepare to bond your new build up material on top of the post and get it ready for final cementation of the crown. So what we do from there is you have this area nice and cleaned up, isolated, and now you're ready to prepare this crown to use it as a template for placing your new buildup on top of the broken buildup and or post as you need it. So what you're gonna do is you're just gonna take a little bit of light body impression material. So you can take a little bit of that. You can express the first amount, make sure it's mixed good. And then we're gonna place that inside the crown. Then after you have this placed inside the crown, you can take, you know, I don't have any here, but a simple brush and clean that out and just make sure that you coat all of the walls, including the margins with impression material or just a, a thin film akin to placing die spacer on a newly trimmed die, which we all did in dental school and remember the great times. So we have all that. So now we're just gonna let that set up. So after the impression material is set up, we could take a scalpel and clean up the margin. And you can sharply dissect this material away and this goes for any tooth in the mouth really that you broke that build off build up off See how nice that comes off? You can just carry it right around. To where we have the natural margin, which should be right against a good sound tooth structure.
and when you're doing this just take your time um, I remember a uh, coach used to tell us that if you do it right you do it light if you do it wrong you do it long so basically he's just saying uh, if you don't take your time and do it right the first time you're gonna have to keep redoing it spend more time when it fails with an unhappy patient and you all know how demanding people are so we have a nice margin now with the interior of the crown with the light body on the inside then you can set that aside and get ready to put your build up on you're going to follow the same things you did before you're going to want to etch this tooth then rinse it then you're going to place your adhesive and you're going to air dry that really well for 20 seconds to really blow that down in there and then you're going to light cure that and then at the end this is the part where you're going to make the new build up and what you do for it is take your crown and then you're going to use your build up material and of course express enough that you know it's well mixed and you can visually verify that and then I always like to place a little bit on the tooth itself that I'm bonding to so there we are I've placed some of that and it's important to use a dual cure And I'm placing this, and you can just fill it up to the top of where the impression material is. And then we're going to place that on top. And seat that and express all the excess material. So with these new zirconia crowns but have some translucency you can clear up all the all the excess you know with floss and your explorer hey Miriam can you bring me a light, please? <clears throat> Sorry, what do you say? A light. Light? Light, sure. yep. So, you wanna make sure and hold that firmly. Now with these uh, translucent crowns like this, thank you very much. Sure. You can cure through the crown. Then once that is either dual cured or you like cured it, 
You can then remove your crown. And then you have your new build up. on top of there and then whenever you remove your crown you can see any excess buildup material that may be present that you weren't able to get to initially you can clean that right off there and now you have your buildup placed uh, back exactly where you need it using a template of your crown then take your crown you can clean it off. Let's clean out the uh, impression material out of the inside of the crown. So now we have a nice clean crown and you can clean the preparation with chlorhexidine or any crown cleaning agent available commercially and you can even air braid this if you feel the need to do so and then try the crown back on and make sure it seats check all your margins so now we have that crown and it seats all the way it looks very nice along the margins and then we will be a little bit uh, cautious to make sure everything is light cured completely is on there then you can mix up your traditional looting cement whether it's Fuji or Reliax and cement as you normally would cement a crown for final delivery and see that with your final cement on the inside and express the the excess and get that cleaned up and then you do not have a wasted appointment for whenever you have a buildup that has broken off into a crown whether it came out with the post or whether it's a posterior tooth or an anterior tooth uh, there's a quick and easy way to save your appointment and avoid upsetting the patient with remaking a crown and reprepping and redoing the build up you know you can if you're super skilled you could just place the build up back in there and reprep the build up until the final two seats on there that's kind of a harder way to do it uh, other ways of doing it I've seen guys years and years ago you know 25 years ago when I did they would fill up the whole crown usually with a PFM they would use a material that is called miracle mix and they would just put a ton of that in here a ton of that on there where the buildup was missing and fill that up in and then they would cement it using a miracle mix and just seat the crown with a big glob on there express all the excess and just clean up this big massive mess but uh traditionally i find this way more traditional for putting your original build up back in there and using traditional crown and bridge cement on top i just find that a, a more neat and less messy way of doing things and uh, i hope that uh, that helped out some of y'all um that's just a you know a quick way of reproducing a buildup on a tooth where the buildup has 
come off inside the temporary crown and your assistant comes to you and says, hey doc, the bill that came out. So now you have a way to uh, place the build up back in and save your appointment.